Okay, next up on today's virtual class, we're going to check out an Engineering a Hurricane video on Edpuzzle. And Edpuzzle is a cool site where basically you can answer questions while watching a video. So you do have to create a login to follow along. So you will click here to download the directions if you want. They're also right here if you prefer just to scroll through. Sometimes that can be a little tricky depending on your device. Um, so let's go ahead and check out our login directions. Okay, to get to your video, you're going to go to edpuzzle.com. So this is the link. You can click that from my website. And you're going to want to click I'm a new student once you get there. Once you've clicked I'm a new student, your next screen will tell you to create an Edpuzzle account um, by filling out the form and then you'll click sign up. Make sure you put in an email so that if you do lose your password then you can um, recover it. So try to use a password that you use for all of your other school things or um, something that you'll remember or maybe even write it down on your science tab and your Avid Binder so you can't lose it. Once you click sign up it'll take you in and this will be your home screen and since you don't have any content yet it's gonna look pretty empty um, if you do already have content from other classes then you should already have an account you would have just logged in um, and then you would just click join class you can click here or here it takes you to the same thing once you click join class it's gonna ask for a code kinda like with Kahoot um, or Nearpod if you remember Nearpod so once it gives you the prompt it'll be another little pop-up you're going to enter the class code for your class period and click join. Once you type in your class code, it'll confirm whatever class period you're in here, and then it'll pop up with join. So if it is the correct class period, then you click join. If it's not the correct class period, you got to go back and look and get the correct class code. So where do you find the class code? That's going to be on the PowerPoint listed, and let me fly forward a couple slides. Oh, here we go. Um, so each one of the class periods are going to be listed on this PowerPoint. So you can go through and find your class period and enter that code here. Again, once you enter the code here, the class period name should pop up, and then you just click Join. Okay, so once you click Join, you will see your assignment and it will tell you it's due on Wednesday I believe by midnight if I remember correctly so um, you're gonna click start video once you click start video then it's gonna take you directly into the video um, and after each question it will just pause and have a little pop-up you enter the question and click continue and after each question you click continue until you reach the end of the video I did leave about 10 minutes of extra video on there in case um, you have a lot of extra time in class it is excellent but um, I do have a comment that tells you where you're required to watch and you can stop at that point remember if you don't finish in class it is going to be homework so there are 20 questions um, one is your name and one is just a comment so it says 22 but there are 20 questions so they are five points apiece um, once you're in let me show you what that will look like alright so here's my ed puzzle and this is full screen now so once I click play this is the very beginning of the video it pauses and so once you know it pauses and you get this little pop-up on the side it'll ask you a question first question I want to know who are you so you would type in your first and last name and then you click submit and continue It'll continue to play until you get to the next question. I'll fast forward to the next one just so you can see what it'll look like when it pops up. Um, we're still not there. Now we tend to get low pressure when warm air is rising over the equator. High pressure over the cold when the cold air is sinking. And this air wants to flow from an area of high pressure towards the low pressure, which creates wind in the atmosphere. All right. 
right, so here's our next question. If winds are seeds of the hurricane, then what causes wind? So you just put, type in your answer. Um, these don't have to be in complete sentences. You can just tell me, you know, your main idea. You'll click submit. If you have no idea, then it gives you an opportunity to rewatch by hitting the little refresh symbol on the very right corner. Uh, mine's a little off screen. Let's see. There we go. Right here is your little refresh symbol. So um, that's it. Once you finish, then um, you are welcome to do your closure. And that's it for today, guys. Um, the closure. Let's go ahead and check that out so, so we can finish up. All right, so once you finish your video, um, or the last five minutes of class, whichever comes first, um, you are going to finish your closure for the January 27th. Remember, we're skipping the 26th. I know that we'll be on the 26th, but we are actually doing the 27th. So um, your closure question says, the mass over Texas is blank pressure, so the weather there will be blank. So if we look, we have to find what's de uh, some kind of Texas area and this is an awful picture. I'm not sure why it's so pi pixelated. So I'm looking around. I can see San Francisco, Minneapolis. I think that says Philadelphia. I believe that's Miami. And that looks like Dallas. So if I'm thinking about the general flow of the United States, that kind of makes sense that Dallas would be in the middle. Um, so we know Texas is going to be in this general area. If we look around Dallas, I see that it's a low pressure system. So we have to figure out what would the weather be for a low pressure system. Let's take about two minutes to look through our notes if we need to. I believe your notes are on page four. If you don't remember what low pressure means, check that out. Remember, low pressure is like the inside of the bottle, if you can remember our bottle trick. Let's check out our answer and review. All right, so the mass of our Texas is a low pressure system. So what do we remember about low pressure? If we remember about the bottle, the inside of the bottle was really warm. It got crushed by the cold air mass outside of it. And if you remember, it looked kind of foggy inside the bottle because we actually made a cloud inside the bottle. Well, what do we know is associated with clouds? Generally, that's going to be some kind of precipitation. So 
we could predict that the weather there in Texas would be cloudy skies um, and possible precipitation. Based on the temperature at that point, it is not looking like it would be snow, so it would probably just be rain. So pause if you need to and catch up, and that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow, so I look forward to seeing you guys.